Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I thought I would share with you what I'm doing this morning. This is such a really neat idea and a money saver. I've been making my own leaves to go with my flowers for my next project. And here's some of the ones I've cut this morning. They are so nice. And these are just with dyes that I already had in my stash. Look at all these different ones. This one is really, really tiny and frilly. It was the most difficult to get out of the dye, of course, because it's so tiny. But I've done quite a few here this morning. And there's that one. They're kind of everywhere. <laughs> and then some smaller ones. And I just, um, I had a sprig of leaves. This was like two dollars at one of the big box stores and you can see I've used almost half of it but um, and I've still got a bunch of it laid out on my counter but what I've been doing is just cutting them off close to the base of the leaf because this plasticky stuff is so thick it makes it not want to lay down in your die cutting machine but I'll show you what I've been doing let me move these out of the way I just used my big shot I hope you can see this in my little work area here. Let me see if I'm okay. I think I'm kind of okay on space. I just took the regular sandwich like you normally make. There's that plate. And I have this die here. It's too big for one of these leaves, but I can cut one of them at a time. And if you lay it so that the veining in this kind of corresponds to that, and it doesn't make any difference if you put this this way or this way, it's still going to cut it. But the veining goes this way more. So I'm going to lay it down like that and hope that works. And try to get it, move it up a little bit away from that real thick plastic because that's the hardest part to cut through. And just put your top plate on it. And mine requires a shim. Yours may not, but it gets kind of thick. And you can hear it crunching as it goes through. Now you may need to run it a second time to get it to cut all the way through. That looks like it did really good. Just except where the, the plastic is the bottom, sometimes you have to help that out with your scissors. Where'd I put my scissors? Let me get these little ones here. And just trim it up here by this stem. And you'll get a ton of leaves out of this for two bucks. Isn't that neat? And the the texture of the the silk kind of looks like the the leaf pattern itself. It's really pretty and so much cheaper. Yeah, but you know, aside from being cheaper, a lot of the flower companies they don't put leaves in the packages. You know, and I always have way more flowers and no leaves. And it's aggravating. So, do another one. We'll do this light green. I just kind of try to lay it along with the veining pattern. As best I can. This is sitting half on my glass mat and half off. That's why it's wobbling like that. I saw this idea somewhere. A lady had mentioned it, and I thought, well, what a neat idea. And then yesterday when I was in town, I happened to walk past the floral department, and all of a sudden I remembered seeing that video. So I grabbed a bunch, that one I showed you for two bucks, and that's what I've been making this morning. See, there's another one, and you can see the vein going through the center, and then it's got these little striations through there. It's just really cool. I just wanted to share that with you 
if you um, have a need of leaves to go in your projects, that, that's a super awesome way to, to build up your stash of leaves. And then you can just put them in a little plastic bag and um, keep them stored away till you're ready to use them. It seems like I always need leaves and never have any. So there's those and then these here that I just cut. So that's what I wanted to share with you this morning. I thought it might be helpful, and I hope it is. So I will see you on my next video, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.